Nothing beats Atari. When I run out of fingers, Cookie Monster and Atari make it easy for me to count, even up to 20. I received some hardware that I purchased on eBay for the Atari 2600 and in that box of goodies I also got a copy of Atari 2600 Cookie Monster Munch. Never heard of it before but it was a thing. Made in 1983 and it uses these the kids controllers which came also which appears to be just a keypad two of them. I don't know if he uses one or two. I don't have any instructions. I don't have any manuals. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just clean these up real quick. Maybe pop them up and take a look at one of them, but they're pretty solid. So let's see. I'm going to take them, open, take them apart, just look at them real quick, and give them a test run and see how they work. Come along. Oh, be sure to like and subscribe now. All right, so what we got here is the kit controller. Was this made by Atari? Yeah, it says Atari on it. The Atari Kit Controller. It appears to have four screws holding it together, so let's let's just pop it open and see what we got inside. Before I clean the wrap, I, I am pretty darn positive there's nothing inside but just a membrane and some wires. But if it does come apart cleanly, I can wash the whole outside of the case without having to worry about anything. Let's just say. I do not recall ever seeing these when I was younger. Well, that don't mean nothing. Okay, come apart. Now since this is a standard Atari thing, it should be able to plug into and be used by anything that used a standard Atari 2600 joystick. Clip up here. I can feel it. It doesn't want to let it go. Wait. Guys, did you put a screw behind here? I think they did. I think they did. I think they did that on purpose just to mess with me. They put a screw behind the foot. Is there one in there? It sure looks like it. Yeah. Come on. Come on out. Come on. Is this thing being held together by this foot? What the heck is this? Don't be so difficult. Look at me, I'm gonna ruin it trying to open it. It was being held together by the foot. By the rubber foot, it seems. Or maybe not. What the heck? There's a plastic peg here. It's not being held by the foot. And a plastic pet there. It was stuck. It wasn't the rubber foot. Which, now I'm going to have to glue in place. It was stuck on the stupid plastic peg. Alright. So, yeah, it basically is what I thought. I mean, you got that, you got that. This goes on here. And it goes on there, so you're just touching it. Oh, it's not pretty. It's really made nicely. Look at that. Colors are nice. Thing. So, uh, yeah, it looks like I can just pull this thing right apart and wash this off in the sink. Instead of having going Windex nuts. So, yeah, it, it's, it's... You push one of the buttons and it just makes contacts right here with the keys. Very simple design. I like that. And look at this, some ColecoVision should have learned. Make the hole big enough for the wire to get through. Yeah, see this, this right here, why do you pull them apart? That right there is the reason why. Yeah, that's empty, but that's a spider sack. 
Would you want to have your young child come to a gallery, museum, whatever we want to end up calling this? I mean, it's probably going to be gallery slash museum. It's a hands-on place. Come to play some of these old video games and possibility of spiders and stuff in them? I don't think so. That's why I'm cleaning them. So if anybody's out there like, why are you taking it apart? That's the reason why. Case in point. Boom, done. So, yeah, I shouldn't have pulled that off. That My bad. I can make a stick. Uh oh. Nothing that little hot glue won't fix. So I'm gonna go wash these off in the sink and I'll shop you right back. Alright, so I ended up pulling apart the other one too, and I'm just gonna do them both at the same time. It's exactly the same as the other one. I remembered the, the pins there, so I didn't have to damage the leg. So I'm gonna put this one back together on video. And then the other one I'll put together off video because I'm gonna have to hot glue that little rubber foot. So putting it back together looks to be very simple. You just slide your cable back in here. Yeah, like so. Still working it. Now this. Where do you go? You know, I may have wanted to. You don't go here. Do you? No, where do you go? Oh, good. <laughs> I know you went this way. Where, where did this go? Though? Did it go like here, maybe? Uh, I think it went there. Like that, no. You know, I probably should have taken a moment to take a photo of it. What it looked like inside. I don't know what I'm doing here. No, you don't go there, because you can't go there, because then you'd be in the way. So where do you go? I'm assuming you come here. Uh, you know, I am putting it together on the wrong side. That's right. It goes up here. So, try that again. Look at it. Go it wrong. It goes up there. This. Put this in first, obviously. Okay. The little pegs. But yeah, I always say take a picture and I never take a picture. Oh, I should take a picture of this one. It goes like that. Alright, now we're getting down here. Yeah, now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, it's a lot easier if you do it right. See, that goes there. Makes sense. And then this goes right here. Now that makes sense. And then that just slides out there. Okay. So look at us go now. Yeah. 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 Then we got to line up those little pegs. One in that corner. One in that corner. Push them down together. There we go. And we take and lock that into the string right there. And then there's four screws. And the old screwdriver. Whee! Look at the torque on that screwdriver. Come on, it's a twist of saw. I should not be pushing down so hard. I should be like holding it up so that it clicks off so it doesn't have a lot of torque because you don't want to break that plastic. You yeah, should be doing it like that. So it doesn't latch on so it's super tight. But there we go. Now she's cleaned up. And now obviously you got these scratches on here, they're not gonna go away. Without it, like being like buffed to death. And I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna put the album together off camera, then we're gonna take the system and we're gonna go sit down at the desk and I'm just gonna show you how it works or what I've been able to figure out for it so far. Uh, as obviously there's an insert that goes here. So maybe I can find an insert online and I can print that out and take a look at it too. So I'll put the other one together and then we're gonna go in the other room. All right, so we're back here in the studio and as you can see, I got the Atari over here hooked up and it actually plays well with my TV in the background there so I didn't have to break out the old CRT behind me. Now what I've done is, these are cleaned up and it's nice that it has a little storage space in the back for the cable. And I went online and I'll show a picture over here so you can see what it looks like in color. I just printed out an overlay for the Cookie Monster Munch video game that I have with it, the cartridge. It looks, now that I see the cartridge, it's or the overlay, it, the game's pretty easy to play. So I'm just gonna give it a quick shot. Let's see what we got. 
I'm gonna have to turn my head to see what the screen shows. So what we got here is we have arrows and then the center is eat the cookie. So if you look at what it looks like, you're using two, six, eight, and four as your directions and five to eat. So you could use a joystick, but you don't have a fire button. Unless, I don't believe five translates to fire. So let's see what we got here. My TV's having a hard time logging on the signal, but we're gonna get there. Well, where do I eat? Okay, right there. Oh, I don't need it. Do I, ooh, I gotta pick up and take it back to the cookie jar? Well, isn't this game cute? I thought he just ate him. Nom, 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 nom. Look at him go. He eats him. So, okay. He eats season two. That's cool. Oh, next screen. We need this game for the ColecoVision. This is kind of cute. Can I pick up more than one? Oh, don't yell at me. Do I have to take one back at a time? Can I get two in my hands? Nope, okay, one at a time. I have a two and a half year old at home and I can tell you right now, since she uses her fire tablet to play all kinds of games and stuff like that, she already would have swiped left, hit the exit button. I would have heard her say, if she's, especially if she's doing Peppa Pig, I would have heard her say, are you sure? She would exit it out of this already, but it's cute for the time period. I take that back. She may play this once or twice, but I don't know if it has the ability to give her attention span. One, two. Let me guess, in the next screen I have three. Look at googly eyes. Is Elmo Cookie Monster's son? Because you got Cookie Monster and then you have Elmo Monster. Is he his son? Does Cookie Monster give Elmo the cookie so he can tickle him? I really don't want to go there. Anyways, <laughs> we'll let that one go. So that's the kid's controller with the Cookie Monster Munch video game. Pretty cute. And this is stuff that's going to be in the gallery also. And I will print up real ones on color and have them laminated and so forth. Not just this quick and dirty draft style black and white. But it's fascinating. Be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great one. Bye. Come here, cookie. Cookie. Nom, nom, nom.
Thank you.